Hi there, welcome to Carmen's Australian Storytime. Look at these beautiful trees behind me. Their trunks look like bottles. I used to call them bottle trees growing up. I think they're called Bawab trees. They're very beautiful, aren't they? Today, I'm reading the next book in this series, I think, because a little while back for Mother's Day, I read Wild About Mums, and today I'm reading Wild About Dads, and it's written and illustrated by Philip Bunting. Let's have a look at the blurb. Good dads come in many different shapes and species. Get ready to learn a fatherly trick or three from a whole host of dads, both great and small. It's not only humans who can be great dads. There are plenty of fantastic fathers out in the wild too. Many wild dads go to great lengths to give their children the best chance of growing up healthy, smart and strong. Some dads show their kids the ropes, like the gorilla. Gorilla dads make great role models for their children. As baby gorillas grow, their father teaches them how to find food, how to play and how to look after one another. A gorilla dad takes pride in setting a good example for his little ones and they form strong, loving bonds by doing so. Some dads have a long commute, like the sand grouse. These desert-dwelling dads fly great distances to fetch water for their hatchlings. Once he finds fresh water, a father, sand grouse, soaks his feathers, picking up as much water as he possibly can and carries it back to the nest for his chicks and grouse spouse to drink. So they drink it from his feathers. Some dads keep their babies close, like the seahorse. Once a mother seahorse lays her eggs, the fishy father-to-be incubates the eggs in a special pouch on his belly. For the best part of a month, the tiny seahorse babies will emerge from the pouch as soon as they are ready to make their way into the big blue. Oh, this page, can you see the foxes on this page? It's a little bit hard. Some dads teach their young to hunt like the Arctic fox. An Arctic fox pup grows up and Father Fox plays a leading role in teaching them to be well, foxy. He shows them how to hunt, to play, to hide and to flourish. Arctic fox dads are great providers and protectors, nurturing their pups until they're ready to go on their own way. That would be hard to spot, wouldn't they? Some dads carry a heavy load, like the giant water bug. Some female water bugs lay their eggs on top of the dad-to-be's buggy back, not stopping until it is completely covered. Daddy Bug then carries the eggs around with him for a few weeks, taking great care to keep them safe and clean until well, one by one the eggs hatch and the dad gets to have a well-deserved breather. Some dads serve up a barfy breakfast. This one's not so nice. The Flamingo. Flamingo fathers make excellent carers from the very beginning, taking turns with the mother to incubate and turn the eggs. When the baby flamingos hatch, the baby flamingo's parents will take turns to feed them crop milk. Crop milk is a regurgitated secretion served up from what mum and dad ate the night before. Oh, and you thought your dad's cooking was questionable. Hmm, not sure if I would like that served up to me. Some dads can be very protective, like the Australian magpie. During the spring, when his babies are in the nest, an Australian magpie dad defends his young by swooping at anything he thinks could be a threat, including innocent passers-by, particularly us humans. Some dads take their kids out to lunch. Some dads take turns with their partners to incubate the eggs until they hatch. Once the cygnets, that's a fancy word for a baby swan, hatch, they often hitch a ride on dad's back while he hunts for their lunch. What a nice dad. The blue poison dart frog. Some kids find, some dads find their kids a home. This one's not so nice either. Dart frog eggs need to stay wet to survive. However, their forest home is not always damp enough for them. So to keep his eggs from drying out while he waits for them to hatch, he regularly pees on them. Oh. Once the tadpoles have hatched, he carefully carries each one to his own little pool of fresh water where it becomes a froglet. A very good dad. I guess sometimes you got to do what you got to do, right? 
Some dads bring home the groceries like the great horned owl. These dads take pride in delivering food to their families. At the top of this feathered father's shopping list are tasty treats such as mice, rabbits, lizards and frogs. Does that sound delicious? My dad would think so. Not all dads are perfect. Grizzly bears. Hungry grizzly bear fathers have been known to, mm, how am I going to say this, make a meal out of their own cubs. No wonder they call them grizzly. Oh, that's a bit mean, isn't it? Some dads have quite fishy breath. These saltwater dads, the hard head catfish, carry their eggs around in their mouths until the baby catfish are ready to swim free. During this time, the doting dad-to-be will go without a single bite to eat. Just be careful not to swallow those babies in the meantime, Mr. Catfish. The emu. Some dads attract an unruly mob. Emu dads sit on the nest for almost two months without a break. When the baby emus have hatched, the emu dad continues to take care of them and often the chicks of other emus at the same time. In fact, emu fathers have been known to take care of 40 chicks at once. Hey, I'm making a connection here to a book I read. Hmm, Spike, do you remember Spike? The book I read about that poor emu who thought he just didn't fit in anywhere. And it turns out he fit right in with his brothers and sisters. And I remember there was a lot of them too. Some dads give piggybacks all day long, like the cotton top tamarind. Tamarins typically have two or three babies at a time. Once the baby monkeys are a few weeks old, Daddy Tamarin takes the lead in carrying them around. He carries the infants on his back all day, every day, handing them back to mum only when it's time to nurse. Once the babies are about a month old, they can eat soft food. At this point, Dad takes on the dual role of Principal Piggybacker and Chief Banana Masher. What does your dad do for you? Yeah, I think Mr. Jones did all of those things. Playing with the girls, getting the groceries, sometimes being a bit of a grizzly bear. I'm not sure that they ever mashed a banana on his head. What a great dad. These wild dads don't tell their children how to live. They set an example for their children to follow. Thank you for joining me today on Carmen's Australian Storytime. Don't forget to click and subscribe. And if you're ever in the city, come and check out Roma Street Parklands. They are amazing. And I brought the girls here when they were three and four. And that was a very long time ago. So I've seen all of these trees grow up into gigantic trees. See you next time.